I believe that DID fate claimers have made DID out to be like the whole personality of those of us with DID. Pink sugar fairies has been banned. Yo, we need to talk about pink sugar fairies. Um, regarding the pink sugar fairy situation. Pink sugar fairies. And I'm gonna point out one system. Pink sugar fairies. Stop. Why are you signaling out pink sugar fairies in this video? Have you ever had a personal conversation with any of the members of the pink sugar fairy system? There were plenty of other systems there in the meet and greet. Why not just talk about all of us generally? We are allowed to have fun. Us dancing and having fun in public is not that kind of crap. If you don't like what you see, feel free to scroll away. You don't have to make a video crying about it. Interesting that you say that this is not real DAD and yet you say you're not fake framing. I don't think that I have DID. I made a mistake. I genuinely thought that I had DID. <laughs> Well, that didn't age very well, did it, guys? Now, I know we've covered that person before, but we have not covered the person who is going to be the main topic in today's video. Sugar Pink Fairies. She has been on my radar for quite some time. In fact, I know she's been on some of the videos on this channel in previous ones, but never actually had a kind of deep dive into her as a person. I literally just don't believe that you have the ID and here's why. But there has been a lot of shady stuff recently that has come to light that I would like to share with you guys. I would like to break down point by point in this video. From her calling out the McLean Hospital in which we already made a video about where a bunch of these TikTokers were basically very mad, a very established hospital in the US called McLean Hospital called them out and reacted to their TikToks on a live stream. These are the things that our system is fighting for. She responded while telling everyone how hard it was to leave her house while then leaving her house and also how she mysteriously managed to cure severe acrophobia when you are unable to leave the house. She's also been a part of the DID meetup that happened a few months ago. <laughs> And also talking about the most recent thing. Honestly, I couldn't find her account anywhere. I couldn't find her Instagram. I couldn't find her TikTok account. And I kind of wondered where she had gone. Now, a lot of these people that have been using their disorders on their TikTok account and making it their whole personality while making fun videos have seemed to just been completely dropping off the face of the earth at this point. The fake disorder cringe subreddit is honestly kind of just dead at this point. There's not much content. And while I know that has been the main driving point on my channel, I can't really say I'm that disappointed. I I'm actually quite happy by that. But I wondered why she has left. What? Why did she disappear? Well, she had been making TikToks with flashing, in which apparently someone had an epilepsy fit and in which apparently after that, she just left the internet entirely. They compare flashing lights to trigger warnings, which is just not the same. Now we're gonna go through every single one of those things in detail. But before we do, if I could ask you guys, please to leave a comment on today's video and a like as it helps the algorithm so much. And I really do appreciate it. And it takes two seconds, goddammit, two seconds. So with that being said, uh, let's just jump straight into uh, this one, shall we? <laughs> There's a lot to... There's a lot here, guys. There's a lot to dive into. Starting with the McLean Hospital drama. Specials literally wouldn't be here making the money without those of us with DID. Now, what gets me every single time is people always take the videos of us systems when we're not talking about our disorder. And again, like I was saying earlier, just being who we are in the comfort of our own home, in the comfort of our home where our clothes are at to still have medical professionals invalidate us. Now, there are a few things I would like to just butt in and just say. The fact that a lot of TikTokers really don't seem to understand the fact that when you upload a TikTok, you're putting it out there for criticism or whatever type of reaction the public are gonna, well, react to it. But they get so mad every time as soon as someone reacts negatively or in a way that they didn't want to have it be reacted to, which just doesn't make any sense. These are the things that our system is fighting for, is to be seen and to be heard and to let others and ourselves know as a system that it is okay to be who we are. Does our system have days and weeks and months of not being able to leave the house in distress? Yeah. And then she talks about months of not leaving the house. It's so much distress. Can't do it. Can't leave the house. It's just too hard for me. While they're making TikToks like this, in which I've got some screenshots, POV, working on breaking bad habits while drinking with DID. Now, I'm no expert. Hell, I'm just an annoying British YouTuber. But I'm just saying, I feel like mixing alcohol with, with DID is probably not the best wombo combo, if I'm being perfectly f 
and honest with you guys, being bored in our hotel room and remembering Squish is there. And then also not to talk about the fact that they had a DIT meetup with a bunch of people, which I've spoken to people in private messages that actually have DID. And I kind of questioned that because I was like, I, I know DID must be extremely hard for you to leave the house and go in big groups of people and you know, just to fucking leave the house in general. But here we had a bunch of people leaving not only their house, but sometimes their state entirely to get planes to fly out to this party and have a good old time. Leave the DID behind and uh, just bring on the good vibes, which just in like a little bit of common sense. If you're doing that and then also getting mad at the same point that people are criticizing that, that seems a little fucking fishy to me. What, we just, we can't have a good time? No, like not really. <laughs> so what if I'm blind? What? I'm not allowed to see this weekend? Oh my God, I can't do anything right. Why won't you just leave me alone and see for this weekend? I'm so pissed off. It's like I'm assuming your disorder wouldn't f***ing wait at the door while you go and have a good time. You know, I, I, I made my point. I know. I'm just trying to really drive that home. Because I know a lot of her fans are probably going to be watching this video. But like, just think about that for a second. Then she talked about in a video about curing acrophobia. She can leave the house now. Uh, it's been cured because she has worked on herself, but she only made that video about the McLean Hospital three weeks prior. So in three weeks, she has come on mysteriously in leaps and bounds. As soon as she got called out for her TikTok videos, she has now mysteriously gotten a lot better. Funny how that works sometimes, isn't it, guys? When you work on yourself, especially in therapy, which we go to several times a week, you can overcome things. Oh and heal and grow now you silly little naive little bugger you so no we're not severely agoraphobic anymore it's been about a little over a year that we've been working really hard on this so and like you can scroll down our page and see when we talked about it about us like working on it i forgot you don't like to do that you just like to spam on troll accounts like this is like your third time today now, finally, to talk about the epilepsy aspect of what went down. Sugar Pink Fairies here is no stranger to uploading videos with massive strobing lights. And when, when I heard this, okay, when I heard this, I was like, oh, okay, I'm sure people are probably being a little bit overdramatic. Now, obviously, I can't really show the video. Look, guys, have a look. Isn't this bad? As I fucking give everyone a seizure and kill 10 people from this video. I'm not going to do that. But I, I think you guys can just kind of gather the fact from the screenshots and imagine what it would be like if this was happening I mean, it flashes probably back and forth probably about 10 times per second. Like, it's not like, it's not subtle by any means of the imagination. And I find it very hypocritical coming from an account that talks about mental health to not give a flying sh about her fans mental health like that doesn't really com compute with me now i can imagine this was a random tiktoker that doesn't even touch her mental health maybe doesn't even think about it, it was an honest mistake i could understand that like that'd be like okay well you know i don't personally think about it 24 7 myself sometimes but she got called out on this because apparently now this this little bit is a rumor i don't actually know if this happened apparently someone nearly died from watching one of her videos because they had a epilepsy fit but this was her response to that by the way I'm about to give a very unpopular, popular opinion for my page here, okay? Absolutely not. I, we, parts of me, parts of myself, are not responsible and will not be held responsible for the mental health, the physical health, and the emotional health of users on TikTok. I am not anybody's caregiver. I am not anybody's medical professional. I am not anybody's parent. Not your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. It is 100% up to users on TikTok to take care of themselves. If you are a user and you're watching videos, you need to be taking care of yourself. Which is kind of ironic coming from the person that complains every time someone disagrees with her. How come? I, I thought it's up to you to not watch that content if you're getting so triggered by it. Just what a shitty human being to say that. You know what I mean? Like how high and mighty do you have to be to pretend like that's not a f***ing issue, like epilepsy doesn't exist. And then later on in the video, she compares epilepsy with being triggered. Like it's it's somehow the same thing. It's really like, it, what? 
okay? It is not fair, especially to put on my shoulders or other user's shoulders, you could potentially kill somebody because you didn't put a trigger warning on a, um, what's it called? On a filter, whatever side it's on, on TikTok. There are hundreds of thousands of filters out here on TikTok. If you are light sensitive, if you are sensitive to oversaturated videos, you need to take care of yourself and check to see what the filter is. Maybe if you get very triggered easily by certain topics, which I myself do as well. I scroll past videos, there's videos that I can't watch. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna watch this right. It's also up to you as a user to read the description of videos, read the hashtags of videos. Maybe go to somebody's page and see what their little bio also states and says that they might talk about. Or maybe kind of scroll through their videos and be like, oh, okay, maybe these are topics that I don't really like. If that is not your cup of tea, then you need to remove yourself from the situation and take care of yourself. But like showing a video in which you're having strobe lights. Okay, listen here. Look, I know you're having a seizure right now, but just like I did with my DID, just pause it for a bit. Just pause it. <coughs> Remove yourself from the video. Like just stop watching it. Hello? Is anyone in there? Like, fucking hell, guys. Honestly, I didn't think about it like that. Like, <laughs> duh. I can imagine it's probably quite hard for those people to pause the video real quick while they're having a fucking seizure and uh, just put that on the back burner for a minute and remove themselves from watching that content. And being triggered from watching something that you don't like is not even close to being the same as having an epilepsy fit from flashing lights. Not a massive fan of something, and it kind of makes me a little bit upset. Hmm. Fucking dying. Yeah. Not really the same thing, is it? Sugar pink fairies. A little, little bit different, that. Lastly, TikTok itself needs to come up with a feature for all of its users, make it accessible, maybe a button or something that somebody can push. It's like maybe a category of topics, maybe there's bright lights that could like be pushed and then it can like flash on top of the screen for people to like be able to see and see if they want to watch it. If not, then keep scrolling. You know what I mean? Not in the guidelines or rules to have to put a trigger warning on a video. Please take care of yourself. Sign up for TikTok, read the community guidelines. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Please do not put that on my shoulders. Not okay. I'm not going to feel guilty about being who I am, parts of me for being who we are, etc. If you don't like my own boundaries and what I'm speaking on my page, please remove yourself. I will not be upset. I'm not going to cry. Just go ahead and go. I find this all so ironic too, coming from a community in which the second someone does something that they don't like, they will just jump on board to bully, harass. And honestly, it's probably the most hated community that I've ever seen. Well, sugar pig fairies didn't like what the McLean Hospital said about you. Just keep scrolling, love. Don't watch it. Duh. Take some of your own advice. Bam. What's that, Ablaze? Don't use my own logic against me. How dare you? And then so other content creators as well have reacted to her and her honestly shitty response on how she's not responsible for her own content in which she posts. Let me just say they're not very happy with that response. They compare flashing lights to trigger warnings, which is just not the same. We said on their page with the strobe lights, Hello, this is not hate, but please put a flash warning next time when using flashing lights. It can be dangerous and life-threatening to some. They responded by blocking me. You cannot use rave content as an excuse. You are not responsible for people's triggers, and of course people should be wary of that. However, trigger warnings are not the same as flash warnings. And you shouldn't be silencing creators that try to hold you accountable. And you deleted a couple videos explaining and defending and doubling down on your decision to not post flashing warning. Which, there you go. Yeah, how can you argue with any of the things that that person just said? You literally cannot. If you're really going out of your way to make flashing lights in a video, I feel like it's also your responsibility to have what, a, a one second warning? I mean, how, how long does it realistically take to add that warning in? And using that rave, like that person just said, rave content as an excuse, it's just BS. With that all being said, so now obviously her TikTok account has been taken down. Suspended, I'm pretty sure, in fact. Maybe she should have read some of those guidelines herself. How some of the people responded to this? Because it's just like, it's so funny to watch some of her fans. Her fans are quite literally, they're just identical to her. It's kind of pretty hilarious. Pink sugar fairies has been banned. This isn't right. We can't let bullies and people who want to hurt people with the ID to win. Like, damn, is that is that her kid or something? Is that I'm pretty sure that's her offspring or something. They are definitely related. 
<laughs> so hopefully now, if anyone was curious or wondering themselves, perhaps on where this TikTok creator went, hopefully now you guys have a better understanding on what happened. With that all being said, guys, hope you have a fantastic day. I want to mention as well, I have a Discord link in the description if you guys would like to join. Leave a like on today's video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.